Okay. So, right here, I'm going to equip... Wait a minute, no, that brings up all my stats. What? Okay, this was actually sort of messed up, now that I think about it. Dang, bro. I actually... It was messed up. That's crazy. When I was doing the tutorial or whatever, it... Well, not the tutorial, but the first stage. Some of these stats wouldn't load up at all. But I'm gonna need these combat boots. I know that for sure. Now, I'm going to... Mm, you know what? Nah, I'm not gonna do that right now. Let's just get going. Let's get going. I'm gonna take my phone... Tri my phone translator my camera translator i'm sorry for that yes obelisk is the one that we're taking down i believe i believe his name is obelisk i may be wrong about that i haven't read a plot synopsis or anything so i'm literally running off of what i can get from the context of everything so, I could be telling you a completely different narrative from what's actually happening, but that's just sort of the fun in this thing, you know? You, you don't understand the language, you just come up with whatever. <laughs> that's that's kind of what I've learned from translating, it's just like, whatever. As long as you're along the lines, it's fine. But yeah, Winry and Sophie, they spend a lot of time together, you know? It's just, it's, it's kind of good. I love how I love how Winry just has like a permanent smile on her face, dude. It's just like <laughs> her face. It's just like I'm not joking about this either. Her face is like a texture, but it does not change ever because they don't need it to. Basically, they're just talking about, like, and now and what they went through, because, you know, like, everybody's gotta know that. You, you know how this goes. It's like, they went through something tough, alright? They lost the mama. <laughs> they lost the mama, one of them lost the body, and the other lost the arm and leg. It's just the thing that everyone has to go over in this series, for some reason. Like, it just can't be left alone. But yeah, we are about to get a look at our bad guys. I actually don't know any of their names. <laughs> so we got Hulk Dude, we got Iceman, and we got Bat Lady. Th th those are the names that I'm running with, alright? <laughs> I'm happy, I'm happy about that. And we got Bull Man over here. No, no. He ain't Bull Man. He's Fire Man, bro. He's Disco Inferno. <laughs> that is so cheesy. So corny, but it doesn't even... It's early in the morning. I hope you understand. <laughs> you know what I should do? Let me translate her. Let me translate your name. I'm up here talking about I don't know their names. Uh, got a translator right here. I need to I need to start using that joint. Her name is Woman. <laughs> what? I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Her name is. Her name isn't woman. <laughs> her name isn't woman. They were just keeping it m mysterious. Okay. Now we're about to translate her name for real. Ugh. Okay. Let's get going. <laughs> woman. I can't believe I just said that. Her name is woman. <laughs> What in the world is this translation? Uh, zero, zero, the first zero. Zero, zero, roost zero. Zero, 
times zero 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 zero. <laughs> Clearly, I did something wrong here. <laughs> oh my god, what in the world? I'm gonna call him Hulk. That's what I'm gonna call him. He's Bull Hulk. <laughs> whatever, whatever, I'm sticking with their names. I hope he's- I hope his name is not Johnny. I hope his name's not Johnny. She repeated that multiple times, but I don't know. Shizu? Shizu, that's- that's what I'm guessing the name is. <laughs> Alrighty. We got the translation. Now, we are heading to my favorite stage. Well, not my favorite stage. This is not my favorite, but it's one of my favorites. Chapter 2, Icicle Guardian. Yeah, but we're heading out to this, this warehouse, and this is my favorite song from, like, Fullmetal Alchemist 2, by the way. It's just, it's just great, dude. I, I love how they have a stage with this song again. This game shows like a heavy like evolution that we will never have again because you know Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood was released by Bandai. And you know what happens with Bandai? The whole game changed. It, it, it didn't make sense. Square Enix, Square Enix had the right idea. The devs who made the game, Rakujin, they had the right idea with Full Metal Alchemist. I don't know what Bandai was thinking, but they made a party game, and then they made an RPG, and it didn't work right at all. Like, I swear to God, these, the first three games, well, not the first three, you know, excluding the first game, they were they were amazing dude and i will stand by that i stand by that forever like these games are the best like i know people give them a lot of crap and all this but really it, it's unwarranted crap by the way it's probably just based off of the first game because we all know how bad the first game was so people don't give them a chance at all like i say hey bro Bro, I highly recommend this game. And they're like, ugh, I heard those games are garbage. Or, these games are trash. Don't play them. And I'm just like, really? <laughs> like, they don't, need, they don't even give it a second thought. They, they haven't even played them either. So they, they literally just say that, just to say it most of the time. But really, the games are so cheap that it's like, dude, you could literally just pick the game up anytime you want. And you can play it yourself. Just get yourself a magic swap disc that's like $24 for cheap. $35 maybe. You know, and that brings up that brings the potential. You know what potential that is? That is importing potential right there. So even if you don't like the game, you can import other games, you know? Because I know very well, I was not about to sit there and be like, nah, I'm not playing this because it's only in Japan. Like, I would look like a fool. I would look like a fool for that, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, how am I missing, like, one out of the three games? It's just like Ultimate Ninja 5. Like, Naruto Ultimate Ninja 5, sure, I paid, like, $63 for it, but I got all of them now. And I'm happy about that because it was it was a very enjoyable experience, and it was amazing, dude. It was amazing. By the way, this is like, I swear there are just so many good songs in this game. Like this OST is just so good. Oh my god, dude! I, I love this song as well. <laughs> Oh, 
Like, I swear, this OST is, oh my god, it's the best out of the Full Metal Alchemist games. In look, I'd even say it's better, well, obviously it's better than the anime OST because, well, anime music doesn't, you know, vibe, they don't vibe like this. It, it just doesn't, I'm sorry. I, I can't listen to an anime OST like, if, if it's not Guilty Crown or something, it's like, bro, if, if it's not like Guilty Crown or Batum or something, it's like, the music just isn't, it ain't bumping, that, that's the only thing I can say, it, it ain't bumping. <laughs> like, like, the, okay, here's how I feel about anime OSTs in general, they're very toned down and like, it feels like they want to do more, but they don't. Like, there are very few anime OSTs that I can actually listen to outside of the shows. Like, sure, you know, Naruto has a few tracks. The Bruce Faulkner soundtrack for Dragon Ball Z, oh my god, that is godly. But, <laughs> other than that, I rarely find myself listening to any of it, you know? But anyway, we're gonna... We're gonna get some items right here. <laughs> yeah, basically, I'm just scanning the entire area. I always do this, by the way. Yo, Al, get over here. Get over here. I'm gonna need you to do something for me. Okay, and with that, I am going to run away. <laughs> trust me, trust me, if I come back to this area, all of this stuff, it does not despawn and it does not reset. So you just wanna set it up before you know you go. It, it's pretty good. It's pretty good about this stuff. Oh, you ice man. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you. <laughs> oh my God, I just, I don't know what's so funny about that voice clip, but it is. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of sequence breaking. I want to say I want to do sequence breaking a little bit. So there is a there is a section there is a section with the sewers, but I'm not you know gonna do that on time because I'm just sort of I'm sort of gonna take myself over there. It's hard to explain because, well, it's hard to explain. <laughs> it's hard to explain because it's hard to explain. You get what I mean. It, it's literally sequence breaking. So I'm gonna do the task that I have to do first. Then I'm gonna go back. And then head to the boss fight. That is practically what I'm gonna do. So yes, we are in the second section of the warehouse. All of you, <laughs> all of you, <laughs> all of you. Oh my god, he is missing me. Come on, Al, fight him. Get his e. Ah. I should start using the lock-on more, but I, I rarely use it. Yes, you want to kill these enemies to get experience. I know, it may be tedious to some. But trust me, it helps, alright? It, it helps out a lot. So while I navigate through the menus, I'm gonna take a snapshot. Alright, I'm gonna take a snapshot of my stats. So I know what what stats which. All right. That's that's how this is gonna. Yeah. Basically, we're gonna have to send someone over there to pull that switch, and you know who that's gonna be? Me. Well, Ed, to be more specifically. English, to be more specific. Jeez. But yeah, you think Al can make it through that? Heggs no. 
this is a job for me so yeah let's just do it <laughs> There we go. Hmm. Oh, okay. I apologize for that. Ugh. Ugh. I, I, I apologize for that. Okay, let me climb up here. Let me climb up here. Yo, Al, where you at? He's downstairs. Ah. The, the heck are you doing, boy? Come on, bro. We can make it. We can make it. I'm, look, look, this may come off as a waste of time. I didn't even need that. Are you serious? I didn't even need to, I didn't even need to make a pillar. I didn't make, I didn't need to make a wall to hop on. I'm dumb. Okay, I'm gonna have to make, I'm gonna have to make Al come over here. Like, I'm, I'm actually gonna have to make him go over. So what I'm gonna do is, there, there are people here. Bowling ball. <sighs> they both just died. They both died, but he, he came back to life. Stand there. Oh my god, thank god. Thank god Ed is still standing there because I set Al to standing. Yeah, this is what happens when you're, you know, doing it one player, you know. <laughs> when you're doing it one player, they sort of, you know. I swear to god, Al, if you run down the wrong side. <laughs> yeah, but you can't get too far away from each other. Yes, I actually do try my best to avoid the ice. Get your boy, if you don't get your. Uh, get your. Wonderful. There we go. He did. It may seem like we're just going through a lot in this game, but it's really not. Like, this game is... This game is only eight hours long, roughly. It's only eight hours long. It's not too bad. Ambush! I failed so hard at that. Just, I'm gonna make this just so I can get, you know, my stuff. Because, you know, you can't ever have too many items. No, seriously, you can't ever have too many items in this game. Like, you, you don't even reach the item cap by the end of the game because you're just using them. They're, like, plentiful. So, you'll rarely ever die in this game. 
I, I haven't died outside of like one instance and you know you know how it is it's not even like you, you die because you couldn't do it it's just like you die because you couldn't heal at that time because believe it or not when you're getting hit when you're getting hit in this game you can't pause the game like they knew they knew what they were doing when this they knew what they were doing when they were developing the game because they knew hey people are just going to start healing up all the time you know Th that's kind of what they do You know what? There we go. We got the angry cow. Yo, Al, get over here. Stay there. Stay there, Al. Watch her murder these fools. Watch her murder them. <laughs> it's great, bro. Get over here. I don't have to do anything. I'm literally doing all the work. Rest in peace, Al. Yeah! She's gonna pass out. I need to kill it. There we go. Give me my item. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I meant to drop the item. <laughs> We're almost done. We're almost done here. Just gotta go through the sewers after this. Because there's an elevator that we have to... There's an elevator that we can't go through. I believe that's the setup as to why we have to do it. As to why we have to go through there. Oh no, I didn't mean to give him that. Okay, let me take a screenshot. Let me let me take a snapshot of these items real quick. Boom 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 ma 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 Okay, that should be good. Now, I'm not going to allocate these points yet. Ugh. I haven't been watching... Ah. Do I want to talk about this? Yeah, I kind of do. I haven't been watching a lot of anime. Uh, if any, I haven't. I really haven't. Like I, <laughs> It's weird to think about this, but... The last I've seen of any anime is sort of like my... Well... It's sort of just nostalgic, I want to say. I just watched, like, one of my old Dragon Ball Z DVDs. And no, not the orange bricks. The, the original. The original DVDs. And then I watched the Dragon Ball ones. And I was like, God, I love this so much. <laughs> then I go and watch Full Metal Alchemist. Like, the one DVD I have. And it's literally, like, the ending. Literally, it's the last DVD. It's the last DVD release of the 2003 series, the last one, as in three episodes per, you know, CD. Three episodes per CD. Like, I'm talking the really, really old ones, not the Blu-rays, not the reprints, not the Funimation ones. Well, it is Funimation, like, but you know what I mean, the Funimation ones, as in like the Blu-ray sets and the new DVD ones. Like, I'm talking OG DVDs. The ones with the clear cases and all that. So, yeah, I just I just went on a nostalgia trip, I guess you could say. Jumping on these is a pain. So, I'd suggest don't, don't jump. Don't try to jump on those pillars. Just run into them until, you know, Ed just... 
just do it until Ed happens to land on one of them, you know? He, you know, you know, he automatically jumps. He automatically jumps on them, so nine times out of ten, you'll be positioned correctly. If you're not, tough luck. You gotta try again. And also, remember to kick when you jump. Remember to kick when you jump because it just brings your other leg forward so that you don't, you know, have that thing that literally just happened to me a second ago happen. Where it's like, boom, 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 boom. Oh, wait. I I'm not standing on this. <laughs> These parts are going to seem very long, but that's only because I'm, you know, I'm... I'm thoroughly inspecting the area, you know, if I wasn't, if I wasn't doing that and I was just blasting through, I'd be setting myself up for either failure or just, I want to make my playthroughs sort of like guides in a way, you know, they sort of help you, you know, they're like walkthroughs, they're sort of like game facts, bro. Okay, that comparison was probably really bad, but it, it's, it's. It's how I feel. I feel like I could be the game facts of YouTube when it comes to these games. There we go. 17 experience. He did. All right. Okay, so, okay, you're gonna have to be very, very, very careful about this one. <laughs> and when I say careful, I mean really, really careful. So, this is a gap that you can't make through, make through, this is a gap that you can't make it through with Al, so... Obviously, you're going to be using Ed. Attack 159. Okay. No, I was leveling the wrong stat. I was actually leveling the wrong stat. I'm sorry for that. So I got no stronger at all. <laughs> anyway, it's time to crouch. Duh. It's time to crouch into a first person. You know, this game has a lot of puzzles, by the way. Like, it has some it has some great puzzles. I'm not gonna lie. They're not annoying. They're not impossible. They're manageable. And I like that, because I don't like puzzles in games. I don't. They're, you know, like the Resident Evils, the Devil May Cries. Like, those puzzles are so bad and cryptic, you know? The survival horror games just have bad puzzles in general. And Devil May Cry isn't a survival horror, but, you know... That's the reason why I like DMC Devil May Cry more. Because it doesn't have those annoying puzzles. It's like, the gameplay is awesome, right? But then the puzzles drag down DMC so much to the point where I can't even beat the game. Like, I swear to God, it's, you know how, you know how you want to beat a game so badly, but you just can't? Because it won't allow you to? That's how I feel. I'm, I'm only using my physical strength because, well, guess what? I'm using my physical strength only for one reason. It's literally just one reason. I, I don't feel like pressing circle. <laughs> I don't feel like pressing circle to use my alchemy right now. For better or for worse! Okay. 
152. I'm I'm willing to bet. I'm willing to bet. 154. Two. Oh, I'm leveling up these two. Okay, I got you. I got him. I got him now. My health and attack. That's all you need in this game. I want to say that's for every Full Metal Alchemist game out there. Like, every Full Metal Alchemist game under the sun. Well, not every single one, but these three games. That's all you're going to need. Because the attack power is really what matters. And I feel that way about a lot of games. Even RPGs. Like, you don't need defense. You don't need all that crap. If they make me go here twice... If they make me go here twice, I'm cutting, by the way. Just letting you know, so that you won't have to sit here and watch me go through it again a second time. Because I... There are enemies that show up here. There are enemies that show up here, but only on your way back. Yo, get on the ladder. <coughs> oh. Don't tell me I'm getting sick. Don't tell me I'm getting sick in the middle of recording. Like, ugh, that sucks, you know? It's like, dude, I just got up. I'm feeling great about myself. And here comes my cold. Well, not a cold. I don't know what I'm getting right now, but... Something. You know, it's like... It's a few days after Christmas. I got my laptop. I'm recording stuff now. I'm happy. And all of a sudden, some cold wants to try and kick in. And be like, screw you, man. <laughs> no fun allowed. You know, it's like... No. <laughs> but yeah, I'm actually doing sequence breaking right now, which could serve to help me. It can serve both purposes. It can either actively help or hinder me. So let me build this bridge for Al to get across so we can proceed. I think I can actually cover one chapter in every game. Ow, get over here! There we go. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. These enemies die very quickly, and they are a good source of experience. Just want to say that now. They are a great source of experience. I forgot what weapon I used on them. I actually forget what weapon I used on them, but... Yeah, you want to grind these. Or maybe not. Oh no, I just did that. Oh yeah, you wanna know something great about these? They drop items. Given my given my build right now, I can get tons of items off these wolves. Like no problem. But you know what? I'm not gonna waste your time with that. I'm not gonna waste your time. Ow, get over here. Get shooting. Get shooting, my boy. I trust you. I trust you to get me some experience. Because the experience doesn't go to him. It goes to me. <laughs> That's the funny thing about this. It, it, it literally goes to me. So, yeah. 
I don't I don't want to bore you people. That's 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 one issue that I have sometimes. I feel like I'm boring everyone and I'm not, you know, getting to the point which can serve as a problem. So, my aim with this playthrough is to just get it done, you know, get it done, but not get it done. And I think I literally just bypassed the entire <laughs> sequence that I was supposed to go through with the elevator. <laughs> so, what happens now is I can unlock the elevator from the other side, possibly. Yep, we are in the fourth quarter. Hmm. We are in the fourth quarter now. Which is good, because we don't have to go through that elevator. See, see, look at it. We're on the other side already. <laughs> Wait, what's the little sequence breaking gonna do to me? Nothing. Wait a minute. There's something. In, there's something in here, by the way. Let me. I forgot. I already collected that. That was pointless. <laughs> Alrighty. Hop on. Now there's something here for me. An item. Now that should activate the elevator on the other side. Which means... We have to head out through the sewers again. You know what? That's not helping. I thought the sword would have a wide a wide radius with its swings, but it doesn't. Its range is actually pretty bad. So yeah, let me let me stop with this madness. So yes, that was a little sequence break, so we didn't have to backtrack. Because, imagine this. We walk through the entire third quarter, only to realize, oh my god, um, it looks like we have to activate it from the other side. And then we literally have to backtrack. <laughs> like, no. I, I don't play that stuff. I'd rather do it beforehand, you know? Oh yeah, I didn't get this item. There we go. <sighs> but sorry, we couldn't make it through most of this, but yeah, I thank you for watching. I will see you next time.